We have details from this week's school committee meeting on this episode of Barnstable Today. It's Thursday, March 17th, 2016. I'm Sarah Mannell. The Barnstable School Committee is making some changes to the community use of school facilities policy. The move follows the cancellation of the Don McLean concert that was scheduled for this month. Interim Superintendent of Schools Bill Butler presented the proposed changes. Uh, you have in your packet for a first reading a proposed amendment to policy KF community use of school facilities and policy KFR community use of school facilities um, the substantive change uh, is uh, on the on the, the K policy KF uh, in when it lists uh, school facilities uh, the purposes for which school facilities will be available uh, in number eight the activities of other organizations when approved by the school committee uh, we're proposing to change school committee to superintendent so that that authority would be delegated to the superintendent. Uh, and then on uh, policy KFR, uh, again, where uh, in, in, in paragraph two, where the policy talks about school facilities may not be used for individual, private, or commercial purposes. However, the school committee will consider individual requests on a case-by-case -case basis. Again, we're proposing to substitute superintendent for school committee uh, and then down in paragraph 11 we propose to add a statement that reads permission for a non-school related individual or organization to use school facilities does not constitute or imply school committee or barnstable public schools endorsement for the users activities or views expressed or implied uh, and then finally uh, just a uh, uh, technical change on uh, the final page uh, where it says in situations where there is no cost factor to the school system police officers may be required to attend functions held in the school by any organization or group when deemed appropriate for the safety of the public by the facilities director of schools we're just striking of schools that that is a holdover from uh, a previous uh, policy with a previous uh, organizational structure. The school committee will vote on that policy change at its next meeting, April 6th. The school committee votes to take a position on proposed legislation and a ballot initiative that would lift the cap on charter schools. School committee chair Margot Weber offered her opinion on the matter. Um, a number of school committees across the state are, are tackling this issue. There are, is legislation and a ballot initiative um, to support lifting the cap on charter schools and I can I will share my position is that uh, the cap should not be lifted until there's further proof that charter schools are actually doing the job they are supposed to do I don't think anybody can make an intelligent decision at this point when um, the state auditor general's office has taken to task the DESE's charter office on their data um, supporting any of their claims, including the number of students on the wait list. And um, the a report authorized by MASC shows um, that, that you're not even comparing apples to oranges, it's apples to trucks, in terms of trying to, um, to determine whether charter schools are doing a better job or a different job with any of the um, of the students. After some discussion, the committee voted unanimously to adopt a resolution stating that the Barnstable School Committee strongly opposes a lifting of the charter school cap and supports advocacy efforts to reform charter schools to be equitable for all students in public school districts in Massachusetts. School leaders propose what they call a maintenance budget for fiscal year 17. Interim Superintendent of Schools Bill Butler talked about the proposed $66 million budget. We characterize the preliminary budget as a maintenance budget. 
That means that the budget provides for level services with limited program enhancement and preserves flexibility for the incoming superintendent, Meg Mayo-Brown. Ms. Mayo-Brown officially assumes the superintendency on July 1, but will provide input into the budget as it continues to be refined. The school department budget for the current year, FY16, is $64,250,000. The FY17 budget is expected to increase $1.8 million, or 2.8%, to $66,050,000. Although the overall enrollment of the Barnesville Public Schools is relatively stable and is anticipated to remain that way in the foreseeable future, the portion of students uh, of the student population with high needs, that is students with disabilities, English language learners, and students from economically disadvantaged families, has been increasing and is expected to continue to increase. Our budget continues to address the often intensive services needed to help these populations achieve their learning potential while preserving strong class size ratios, learning supports, a comprehensive program of studies, and a myriad of extracurricular opportunities. In closing, I would like to thank the leadership team, the staff, the school councils, the school committee, and the town council for their feedback, guidance, and continued support to provide a high quality education for all students in Barnstable. Deputy Finance Director Gareth Markwell talked about some of the highlights in the fiscal 17 school budget. Um, so Looking back at uh, slides from our uh, previous presentation uh, about two weeks ago, the, the major highlights for our uh, FY17 budget. Um, educational services will remain consistent with FY16. Uh, we have limited or targeted program improvement in our spending plan. Uh, we are not proposing any reductions in force. Uh, we are, as Mr. Butler mentioned, uh, looking at a maintenance type budget. Um, so we're looking to address historically underfunded budget lines and, and taking this year as an opportunity to essentially catch up and uh, address some issues uh, uh, that we've identified. Uh, we're looking to address the continual growth in the English language learner enrollment category and uh, looking at our in-house special education programs. And uh, just to add there that we are not proposing any user fee increases at this time. The school committee will vote on the proposed budget during its next school committee meeting, April 6th. Well, a recent field trip to Peru makes a big impression on the Barnstable High School students who attended. Several student participants made presentations about the trip to the Barnstable School Committee this week. Haley Murphy says the trip impacted her in ways she never expected. When I pictured traveling to Peru, I imagined the superficial aspects, the views at Machu Picchu and the Sacred Valley, the warm weather and the rolling mountains. And although all of those elements were astounding in their own ways, I never grasped how much in, of an impact this trip would have on my perspective on life as a whole. Interacting with the people and being immersed in the culture of the Peruvians altered the ways in which I think and process certain things. Although I did not realize it, while well consumed in the experience, learning and trying to grasp the values and morals of a culture really morphs and reshapes your own preconceived lifestyle. Somewhere amidst having bright confetti tossed into our hair and accidentally spilling liquid cement on our pants during the work days, we all began to understand how accepted we felt 4,000 miles from home and how willing the people were to be patient with our Spanish. Somewhere between seeing the natives' eyes light up when telling us about their country's history, laughing with the kids, and tasting all the dishes placed in front of us, we all realized how the customs and lifestyle that once seemed so foreign to us can slowly grip us and latch onto us in ways we never imagined. Educators leading the group thanked the school committee for its approval of the trip and hoped to host more like it in the future. Well, be sure to tune in to our hour-long news program, Barnstable This Morning, weekdays at 8 a.m. On tomorrow's show, we will have our weekly arts and culture segment. We'll talk about the uh, upcoming rabies clinics with Animal Control Officer Charlie Lewis. Plus, we'll have all the news and information you need. For Barnstable Today, I'm Sarah Mannell.